Hello and welcome. Mr. Bob of Bob's Pet Stop. Today's dog training video, how to introduce two dogs so they can play and have some fun. This particular dog is a rescue dog and the owner was interested in trying to determine if his dog was safe to play with other dogs. So, without knowing the dog's history, I allowed my dog to lay down off near the tree. I attached a long leash to this new dog and I allowed the dogs to engage. I gave him a little bit of space and I knew that my dog was safe and I knew this dog was also a puppy. So I wasn't tremendously concerned the fact that it lives with two other dogs. So let's take some time to look at the dogs engage in play and try to determine what the play looks like and if the play is starting to get too rough and what to do in that situation. Okay, so there you start to see the play game get a little too rough. So I gave my dog a down command and then I snuck over to grab the dog and bring the dog away from Sassy. Okay, so let's continue. Using a long training leash is a little problematic as you can see. It really takes quite a lot of effort to learn how to properly use it. Notice here, when his dog was a little distracted, I used the opportunity to tell the dog to come. Once he came, lots of love. Very, very nice job. Now I'm starting to notice that my dog is getting tired. See, I tried to release the dog and she looks like she's about done at this point. However, I'm not sure if the puppy is still done. So let's see what happens here. Okay, now she's, she's giving some warnings. She's saying, okay, I've had enough. This is kind of like the mother dog's way of disciplining the puppies when they get a little too rough. This particular dog hasn't had enough social exposure. It was born a very social dog, but it hasn't been taught how to behave in social settings. So what we're doing is allowing the owner to watch what's normal and natural for a dog who's an adult who's telling the puppy it's time to stop. I'm there to monitor so there's no dog fights, and it gives the owner an opportunity to observe what you should probably do in the situation where the dog gets a little too carried away. That's it. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, yeah. Good job, buddy. It's just a matter of engagement. This dog has a lot of energy, and I suspect if we were to allow the dog to continue to play, it would just wear itself out. This is a very healthy way to work, and I'm going to allow the owner to have a chance now so he can learn. Not only to teach his dog to come when the dog least expects it, if the dog tries to run away, he can prevent that from happening. And we'll even have a chance to drop the leash and let the dogs free play. This is a very good way to monitor play and you always want to make sure that there are two people always there if there's two dogs. Each person has their own responsibility to get to each dog. Now this dog wasn't that willing to come when called when he first called me. His biggest concern is running away, which we need to work on how to stop the dog from running away, as well as teaching the dog to come. We're doing some distraction training now, so we're up in the ante. In this type of play, we're monitoring the play. We're following them around, and we're letting them play and have fun. If I need to do something, all I have to do is get right to the leash. The technique I'm using, I call shadowing. I use the same technique when I work with other trainers that are learning how to monitor large play groups in a doggy daycare. Come here. Good job. Real nice. Come That's it. Good boy. Come on. That's a good boy. Good boy. You good. can see he's half-heartedly coming to you. In other words, you're making him do it. He doesn't want to do it. But once he's convinced, oh man, he has, he'll just come running. He's not interested in food at all. But if you're out here by yourself, you may buy into Now, you might have just heard me say the dog doesn't buy into food. This particular dog is not interested in food or any other motivation, especially with the distraction around. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to call my dog. Come. Notice how Sassy's willing to come to me. It's a pleasurable experience. Here. And it'll help the owner get an idea of what it is supposed to look like when you call your dog and what that hey, should look like. Smooch over. Very nice. Yeah, that'll, that'll drive you crazy. I'm so impressed with this so rescue dog. 
And by the way, there was a rescue from Lulu's Rescue, one of the local rescues that I support and recommend. Now we're going to release him and you can drop the leash. This particular gentleman is doing an amazing job with his dog. Look how much fun they're having. Now we're going to be getting to the end of our lesson pretty soon. And I want to watch the dogs play because I think my dog's going to get a little tired of this game after a while. Anytime you want dogs to play and you know your dog is playing with a stupid dog. When I see that the play game is getting too much, which it looks like it is, I'm going to tell my dog to stop by saying no, and I'll have Tom call his dog. Great. Look how quickly both dogs immediately stop. And Tom's dog, Smoochie, is still happy. That is exactly how you start to learn how to control your dogs using a long training leash. Did you see it starts to vamp up a little bit? Yeah, it did. It was vamping because she's trying to say stop it, and he's saying, no, I don't want to stop it. So that'll help you know that if he's taking it too far, he's not interested in dog fighting her. He's just, he's taking his playing to a higher level. Okay, so that is true. The dog was taking up the play game a little too high. It was vamping up, and this is where dogs get into dog fights, especially at the dog parks. So always make sure that you're monitoring the dogs 100% of the time, and that'll prevent any issues with dog fights. Well, that was another great lesson. I hope you enjoyed what you saw today with myself, my dog Sassy, Tom, and his dog Smoochie. Until next time, Mr. Bob saying thanks and enjoy your day. It's very, very fun.